Hi, my name is Cassandra Seda. I use she, her pronouns. I'm the admissions coordinator for Fairhaven College. And today I'm joined by one of our Fairhaven College alumni to chat about her journey um, at Fairhaven College. And so I'll pass on the mic and let her introduce herself. Hi, my name is Teresa Derry. I use she, her programs. I have been a Fairhaven alumni for all of two weeks. I just graduated um, and I'm excited to share with you what I experienced at Fairhaven. Thank you for joining me today, Teresa. Um, I, congratulations on graduating. I'm gonna be so sad to not work with you in the office anymore. Um, I'd love if you could start off by telling us, you know, a little bit about your concentration, the process of creating it, um, you know, including like what kind of classes you mixed and matched um, from the main campus and Fairhaven College. Sure. Um, so my concentration was titled Human Rights and Culture. And I got to mix together all of the different fields that I was really interested in and like, like studying, um, including anthropology, political science, sociology, um, women and gender studies, international studies. I just pulled together all my interests. And there were a lot of different classes in it that really spoke to me. Um, in my last quarter, I was taking a class on society, law, and morality. I was taking a class on transnational migration. I was taking a class on grant writing, and all of those I included in my concentration. Um, but some of my favorite classes that I had in my concentration were ISPs that I created myself. Um, the most, the most exciting one being an ISP on literally I titled it human rights and culture. I don't have a creative mindset for names, but I got to talk to different uh, exchange students and international students and ask them for their perspective on how culture affects human rights, which is basically the cusp of what I was studying. And it was super fun to just explore the world in that way. Thank you for sharing that. Um, I would love to hear about, you know, any internships or travel abroad that you had the opportunity to do um, while being a Fairhaven student and how you got connected to those. Yeah. Let's see, so I did an internship and a study abroad program. Um, my internship was with International Justice Mission in DC. Um, and that one was not necessarily through Western that I found. Um, IJM is an NGO that I've followed for years. I love their work. They work to protect the poor from violence all over the world. And I was so, so excited to get an internship with them researching um, human trafficking in Bangladesh and supporting their efforts to um, combat violence against the poor in that region of the world. Um, and then I also did a study abroad program. Uh, really big. Uh, what type of people, what, what things people think about human rights. Uh, it's, it was really fun and I would really encourage you to study abroad, anybody. That's really awesome. I love that you got to do that and I love that um, I know that you're gonna continue to um, travel abroad and continue to um, your studies in human rights and trafficking and just thinking about, you know, like how do we um, continue to combat that and also spread awareness about it. So I think it's really cool that you've had opportunities to get work skills in those areas and make connections. Um, I love if you could touch on just, you know, what it was like for you to work with your advisor at Fairhaven and who your advisor at Fairhaven was. For sure. I have to say, I loved my advisor. Baba Femi Akinunade um, was my advisor, and he is amazing. He's, he's hilarious. I loved working with him. We built a, a rapport of um, inside jokes, which was really great. Um, but he was really helpful actually in helping me pinpoint what exactly my interests were and in directing me to classes or professors who could you know, help me expand and delve deeper into those interests. Um, like I wouldn't have found probably half of the classes that I took if it hadn't been him nudging me in that direction and um, recommending topics to me. Um, he was the one who actually pointed out to me that I was interested in culture just throughout our different conversations he picked up on that fact about myself that that I kind of was like I didn't didn't know I knew until he told me um and so he was really helpful in 
in identifying my interests and in, in pushing me to, to really dive deep into them. Uh, through the classes that I took through the ISPs, um, through my senior project, he supported me through it all and I love him to pieces. I think it's really great that you got to work with him and I definitely think that based on your interests, um, he was definitely the perfect advisor for that just because of his own experience in those areas. Mm -hmm. um, Bob Femme teaches a lot of classes that are centered on um, fighting for human rights and also human trafficking. We have a lot of incoming honor students for Fairhaven College um, and I know that you were part of the Honors College and Fairhaven College and so I'd love if you could talk about you know just like what it was like for you to navigate both colleges um, and successfully graduate. Yeah for sure. I thought personally that the Honors College and the Fairhaven College just really meshed really well together. Um, they were both they're both kind of push you to look at the world through multiple perspectives. Um, Fairhaven being interdisciplinary and honors being multidisciplinary, which there's like very subtle differences between the two words. Um, but I loved that the honors college kind of takes it upon themselves to, to push students with different interests together into both their first year sequence and their colloquium and to kind of like get conversations between the disciplines going so that like you can really have um, deep discussions and like solid learning that pulls from just all types of perspectives. Um, and then the honors, uh, the, the Fairhaven College being interdisciplinary and just pulling together all of the different disciplines into one. Um, it means that they really, they really meld well together. And um, it's totally, totally possible to do both, even though it can be a little daunting with the amount of requirements that each college seems to have. Um, but part of some of the seminars that I did in the Honors College actually were included in my concentration, um, including a class on nonviolent social change. That was a very cool class. Um, and so it's totally possible to, to blend the two and to mix the two and to, to have one class knock out two different requirements. Um, and also the Fairhaven Senior Capstone and the Honors Senior Project um, also blend really well together. Um, they both require a senior project that reaches a certain level of, um, of discipline and academic integrity. And I did my senior project on um, popular culture in the Yellow Vest protests in France, um, just examining how popular culture is affecting the way that people are, you know, fighting for their human rights, how they're promoting human rights, um, how, they're, how they're viewing human rights, or how they're like representing human rights. And it worked really well um, to do it with the support of my advisor with Baba Femme, um, really helping me dig into the topic and ask good questions and then being able to present to the Honors College and share my work through the Honors like um, publication machine. Um, and it's just a really well, really well done program that um, blends really well with, with Fairhaven. And I really enjoyed being part of both of them and getting to meet students from both of them. I just talked to the fast, differences and perspectives that people have. Thank you, Teresa. I love that you touched on the fact that you can really um, have classes count for, for both colleges, but also um, when students are thinking about, you know, if they're doing the interdisciplinary pathway in Honors College and they're thinking about that senior capstone project their last year at university, um, that they can really have something that, you know, works for both, um, really uh, captures all the work that they've done and bring it and ties it together. Um, and so it doesn't have to be, you know, doing two completely separate pathways, but instead thinking about like exactly how they actually cross paths. Um, and so I'm just excited. And your final project, um, what an amazing presentation. I'm so glad that I got to see that. Um, it was very well done. And so I'm just excited to see like what you go on to do after this. Ending this meeting, I'd love, you know, if you want to add anything else that you think a new student or a student interested in Fairhaven College um, should think about or know about, 
um, when they're considering us or joining us? Yeah. Um, let's see, I'd say if you're thinking, if you're interested in joining Fairhaven College, I'd say, you know, really examine your, your interests and see, see how many conflicting interests you have and then look for ways to tie them together. Because um, that's what I think the cusp of Fairhaven College is, is like pursuing your unique interests um, at, you know, your own pace and in your own way. Um, and don't be afraid to like really reach out to the people in Fairhaven College, both the staff and the faculty. Everyone is super nice and they really want to see you succeed. Um, actually, I found that was true throughout the entire college, you know, um, sometimes being an, a Fairhaven student. Um, it's a little daunting when you want to take classes in a certain major, but I would always, you know, just go talk to the professor and be like, I'm a Fairhaven student. I really want this class. I need it for my major, but it's a major restricted. And they'd be like, oh, have an override code. It was super nice. Um, and so really don't be afraid to, to reach out to all the people, to use all the resources at your disposal. Um, but if you if you do join Fairhaven, have fun and explore your interests and don't box yourself in. Just truly be yourself and, and explore what it means to be yourself. So thank you so much, Teresa. And I hope you all enjoyed this video of you know hearing from one of our amazing alumni um, who is also someone who worked with us in the front office, so she's going to be very missed um, and just kind of got to get a snippet of what it can be like to be a Fairhaven College student.